hello friends my name is kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to talk about the one of the important java 8 enhancement and that is nothing but the jdeps it's a java class dependency analyzer tool and that is uh, added in the java uh, se 8 so if you go to the if you have installed jdk 1.8 in your machine and if you go to the jdk bin directory then you see uh, there are many tools like java c java jar and there are many more tools over there one of the tools is called jdep uh, s right so this is the one of the new addition in java 8 so this is nothing but the it's a uh, java class dependency analyzer tool so let's go through this slide to understand what is jdeps so as i said jdp jdeps is java class dependency analyzer tool so when i talk about the synopsis then uh, jdeps uh, you can type on command prompt jdeps and you have some options and then classes <coughs> options you have a command line options so you have a different options like uh, you can specify different options like uh, in what level you want to analyze uh, a particular jar or classes uh, or a, a, a classes which is available on the particular directory and all so we'll talk about the uh, options what are the options command line options are available in for this command uh, classes is nothing but the here i have listed so options are nothing but the command line options which we'll talk uh, after a little while now classes classes in nothing but uh, in place of classes you can give like name of the classes to analyze you can give the class name you can specify a class that can be found in a class path uh, by its file name or a directory or a jar file right when we talk about the uh, jdeps the JD, jdeps command shows the package level or class level dependencies of java class files the input class can be a path named to a dot class file or direct directory or jar file or it can be a fully qualified class name to analyze all uh, class files the options determine the output by default uh, jdeps outputs the dependencies uh, to the system uh, output it can generate the dependency in dot language so what is dot language and all uh, uh, we'll talk after a little while okay so here i can open the command prompt so my operating system is nothing but java it's a it's a windows 8 so here you can press windows r and type here cmd and here, here you can open the command prompt so for better visibility i have increased the font size and here you can type jde sorry jde ps and dash help help and here you can see uh, you can see saying that jde ps options and classes right so just i was talking about the synopsis right so options and classes and here you can see where classes can be a uh, can be a path name to a dot class file a directory a jar file i was talking about right or you can even specify the fully qualified class name right possible options include and and options these are the options you can include like dot output uh, once you analyze the after analyzing the jar file or any class file if you want to uh, put the input in the some uh, files right then you can have a dot output v or you can write dash v or sorry you can write dash s or uh, dash summary if you want to print the dependency summary only if you want to print all class level dependency then you can specify uh, like dash v or dash verbose so these are the things i have listed in this slide so let's go through the slides so as i talked 
uh, dot output and you can specify the directory name if you do not specify the directory name then generated file will be stored in the current directory and you can see the description saying that destination directory for dot file output if specified uh, jdeps will generate one dot file per each analyze archive named so for every jar file uh, jdeps is going to generate a file uh, and file naming convention would be the uh, archive file name or jar file name with extension dot uh, listing the dependency that will list the all dependency and also this will generate also a summary file right and name of the summary file would be summary uh, with uh, extension dot and that will list the dependency among the archives now i talked about the if you specify dash s or dash summary this will print dependency summary only if you specify command line options like uh, uh, dash v or dash burvos uh, this will print all class level dependency and if you specify dash burvos package if you specify dash uh, burvos package this will print package level dependency including sorry excluding dependencies uh, uh, within the same archive right so if you want to uh, print the class level dependency excluding dependency within the same archive then you can use command line option like burvoz colon dash burvoz colon class if you want to if uh, if you want to specify where your class files have been stored then you can specify the command line option like uh, dash cp and you can specify the path or you can write dash class path and you can specify the path where your dot class file have been uh, located right you have kept your dot class file again okay, next command line options we have uh, you can specify dash p and you can specify the package name or you can or either you can specify dash package and package name uh, this will find dependency in the specified package you can specify this option multiple times for different packages uh, the minus or dash p and dash e options are mutually exclusive so dash p nothing but it's a profile right so uh, sorry package uh, and 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 dash e nothing but the uh, that we are going to talk in next command like dash e uh, and after that you can specify the regular expression right and you can write rejects dash rejects and regular expression you can specify this will find dependency in the packages matching the specified regular expression pattern the dash p and dash e options are mutually exclusive over here now if you want to just i have shown you uh, when you have written on a command prompt uh, jdeps uh, dash help then that will list all command line options and description about this command right so here you can uh, even you can print you can get the same output while typing uh, jdeps dash h and this will display the same even you can uh, display jdeps uh, dash co question mark right so you will get the same so that is about the this command line option now you can also command you can specify the command line option like jdk internals so this will basically find class level dependency in the jdk internal apis uh, like you have rt dot jar and different jars in the uh, jdk uh, leave right uh, by default it analyzes all classes specified in the class path options and in input files right unless you specified the dash include option you cannot use this option with the uh, like uh, dash p dash e and dash s options right which we have talked earlier now one thing you'll have to keep it keep in mind in oracle website they have given as a warning jdk internal apis may not be accessible in the upcoming releases so this may be valid for the jdk 1.8 but uh, in next versions they might remove this uh, command line options right uh, you can specify the command line options like dash p or you can write a dash profile and this will shows profile or file containing a package so your, your uh, all jd even jdk jars belong to the certain profile 
right so this will basically basically print the uh, profile name uh, from where your jars or class file belongs now next option you have a like uh, dash api only so this will restrict an analysis to the apis for example dependencies for the signature of public and protected members of the public classes including field types method parameters types return type and checked exception etc now if you want to go for the uh, recursively uh, uh, recursively traverses all dependencies right recursive dependencies if you want to find then you can specify the command line options dash r or you can write explicitly like dash recursive this will find the uh, recursive uh, dependency so what do you mean by recursive dependency suppose your class a is dependent on class b and b is again dependent on the c so this is this, this is called recursive dependency now if you want to print the version then you can write dash version and this will print the version information so this was all about the uh, theoretical high level insight on jde ps tool right in we are going to look some practical example of it right so here i have here i have a project which i have created in my previous video tutorial so i am going to generate a jar jar file for it so let's create a i'm not going to explain what is is this code all about you can refer my previous video tutorial now here just we are going to analyze this jar file so let's uh, generate a jar file first of all so if we can go for the export and here we have a java inside java we have a jar and i am going to name this jar file as a project name itself so right click over here go to the export and here select jar now next and this jar file i am going to store in the c drive i have created a folder is called jdeps so let's click on the next and next and here i have created a jar file let me show you so this jar just i have generated now this jar location i'm going to copy and let's copy this jar location so here i have opened a command prompt and first command prompts we are going to practice analyzing the dependency of dependencies of any jar so here you will have to write jdeps and you can specify the location of jar and you can see the output so uh, basically these jars this jar is dependent on many other jars right here you can see the uh, this depends on the rt dot jar as well and this depends on the uh, these are the packages on which this jar dependent right so this was about the first command now next command you can use dash p or you can write dash profile option to show on which profile that jar dependent depends right so here just i'm going to copy this command and you can paste it and you can run it directly so you can see so uh, this jar belongs to the i mean compact one profile right so in jdk 8 there are certain profiles like compact 1 compact 2 and compact 3 so if you go to the google and type what is i mean for uh, compact pro, uh, compact profile in J jdk 1.8 then you will get the more detail on the oracle right so so you can see on the oracle website right so similarly you can see the if you want to analyze immediate dependency on the specific class uh, in a given class path for example you can analyze for the particular class as well so this video will be continued in the next uh, these things i'm going to continue in the next video sequence so i'm running out of time so this practical example i'm going to uh, cover in the next video session so thanks for watching this video and let's meet in the next video tutorial for the rem remaining parts so see you there thanks